Hello, I'm Chris Williams from Read Comics. They're bad for you, the name of my YouTube channel. Or if you're watching this on Library or Bitchute, the name of my channels on those two websites is Comic Freak. We're going to be talking about how game stock in Japan has basically crashed in the, the Japanese stock market. So we're going to be talking about that and seeing how this will affect game stock maybe all over the world as well. With the closing bell of Tokyo Stock Exchange, Japan has just experienced its worst day for game stocks in over a decade. Nintendo, Sony, Capcom, and Konami, among others, each took a major hit today on Japan's stock exchange. As noted by game developer Dr. Saigon Toto, Nintendo finished the day at 3.96%, Sony at 70 0.31%, Koei at 5.41%, Capcom at 6.68%, Konami at 6.67%, Sega at 6.74%, Square Inks at 5.79% and Nippon Ichi at a whopping 17.58%. I've been following 50 Japanese game stocks for over 10 years now, wrote Toto on Twitter today. It was the worst day I can remember, and this will probably have drastic consequences for, well, video games in Japan. So there's no telling what these game companies will do in the future, so we'll have to keep watching to see what will happen. Here's a tweet talking about what's happened. As you can see, all the companies have basically, well, lapsed in their stock. And it really doesn't look good for what's going to be happening in the coming days and, well, what can I say? It just looks bad for them. Now, how this will affect us in America is probably because they'll probably have less projects made because they're going to have to tighten their belts and so we'll have to be looking at a future where there are probably less games coming out of Japan. Which is a good and given thing to say because they have to do something in order to, well, squeeze off all of the stock that they're losing so they have to do something about this. I wouldn't be surprised if they get massive layoffs as well. Now, this will hopefully only be a temporary thing, but then again, I have no idea what's really going on there or what caused this massive plunge in their stock. Stock markets have been affected globally in the wake of the growing fears over the impact of the coronavirus today. U.S. shares were briefly suspended when a sharp fall led to automatic halt in buying and selling stocks. Crude oil has also experienced a sharp drop following a row between Russia and Saudi Arabia. The COVID-19 virus has caused concern throughout the game industry. Most recently, Emerald City Comic Con, which takes place in Seattle, was moved to summer due to a coronavirus cases in the city. Other events such as GDC 2020, EVE Fan Fest, and various esports events have been postponed or canceled. Some developers also decided to skip PAX East over coronavirus concerns. So you can see everyone's going nuts about this virus and everyone's basically running scared and this is basically causing the stock exchanges to noticeably have a downward turn and this has affected the game industry in Japan massively and this in the coming years will hopefully be looked upon as something that wasn't actually as bad as everyone is basically fearing for what it could be. But we'll just have to wait and see how this will affect Japan's game industry and and whether or not this will just blow over, hopefully it will. Now, if you like this video, subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube is going around unsubscribing people. So, make sure you're still subscribed. If you're watching my videos but you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Read comics, they're bad for you. Then go over to BitChute and the Library and subscribe to my channels on those two websites. They're both named Comic Freak. Hit that bell for notifications. Hit that like button and leave some comments down below. And if you could, could you also please share this video? Share it on Twitter, share it on Reddit, and share it on Facebook. Share it Anywhere you think it'll do the most good because YouTube is not going around promoting their own YouTube creators anymore. So please share this video. Now, it's that time of the day again. It's plug-in time. So please keep checking back in all my future videos for more information on my own upcoming independent comic book scum dogs. I'm Chris Williams and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video or review.